What's up guys, it's me Karen. Today we're going to be doing a soft, glowy, drugstore makeup look. So with the exception of maybe one product, now you're going to have to guess if this is a drugstore brand or not because this video is sponsored by Unspoken Brand and I will leave a link in the description box below for you guys to get a little bit more hints and guess. A couple of you guys have guessed in my last video and I want to say you guys are very, very warm. With that said, if you guys have an Instagram, feel free to follow me because this look was actually requested by you guys for me to recreate on YouTube. And the beauty of it is that it's affordable and drugstore. So you guys can all get your hands on these products and I will leave the link in the description box below for those who are interested in recre recreating this look. All right, enough of babbling for me and let's just get started with this makeup look. This is really exciting because I got a whole bunch of drugstore makeup that I'm trying for the first time and I guess this is kind of like a first impressions video with drugstore makeup. So the first thing I'm gonna use is this L'Oreal Visible Lift Radiance Booster and it's a 24 hour brightening primer. So I'm gonna just apply this all over my face. It has a very interesting smell to it that I don't know how I feel about it right now but it does make my skin feel nice. Next, I'm going to be using L'Oreal's Infallible Total Coverage Creamy Foundation and it's supposed to last for 24 hours. I'm using the color 302 and it has a weightless feel to it. I'm just going to use my fingers to apply it all over my face. It feels really cooling right now. So far, I've I'm really into this foundation for the drugstore. Although it's full coverage, it's very lightweight and it really does disappear into your skin. I'm really about it right now. Now don't forget to apply some onto your neck because you don't want, you wanna make sure your face and your neck matches and it looks like this color is a little bit on the lighter end for me. So as long as I make sure it's blending, blended out down to my neck, this is gonna look a okay. What I love about this foundation is that it's very buildable and you can keep applying it and building your foundation without making it look kicky at all. I do have some spots right here. I'm focusing it onto my cheeks right here. This is kind of where I get my sun spots and I'm just gonna use this and blend. Blend it into my problem areas. Next I'm gonna be using these concealers from L'Oreal. It's their infallible total coverage concealers. I'm going to skip the sponge and just apply the concealer on top with my fingers. Also here, my problem area. Now I'm going to take this brush and blend, blend, blend. Oh, man, you know, I'm feeling like L'Oreal is Drug for makeup is really pulling through with the foundation and the concealer. It actually leaves my skin looking like skin, but it also has really good coverage. I honestly would not be mad and I would for sure like go back and purchase these again, especially the foundation. I'm just so impressed with the foundation. The concealer, still pretty good, but I feel like you need um, a good brush with it. You a good brush to blend it out. I, I still feel like it needs just a tad more coverage. Now for this really simple, soft, brown, dewy makeup look, I'm gonna be using really neutral colors and we're not going to be going too crazy with the eyeshadows. I'm not exactly sure what this color is called, but I'm gonna grab this like soft, light brown color off to the corner. And I'm just going to use the Sigma E40 blending brush. I'm going to lay it all onto the crease of my eyes. We're just gonna go into the crease like so, and then you're just gonna take your time with buffing the product in in a soft blending motion. It's a really pretty palette, guys. I was honestly really taken aback with how pigmented the colors in this palette was. Okay, so now that we got the eyes down, I'm gonna be taking just a clean brush and then going into this really beautiful gold foil color dust off any excess product and we're just going to apply it to the center of our lids. Wow! This is so pigmented. I'm going to go back with the Sigma E40 and then taking that soft matte brown color off to the corner, we're just going to soften up the edges a little bit so that the really pretty shimmery color and the brown blends in really well together. 
We kind of want to give it this soft truffle chocolate look. Guys, this palette is so good. Oh my god. Okay. This cosmetic is straight up like being very cool and through, man. And then take the lightest shade on this palette, which is this guy right here, the white one. And then I'm just going to apply this to my brow bone. Now I'm going to be taking the Milani Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner. So I'm going to be taking an eyeliner brush and I'm just going to use an eyeliner brush to apply this eyeliner onto the top of my eyes just so we have a lot of precision. And then I'm just going to go ahead and bring the eyeliner in towards the inner corner of my eyes too. I'm making sure that I'm bringing it as close to the lash line as possible. It's almost like an invisible eyeliner that I'm creating. And then with whatever product I have left on my brush, I'm just applying to my lower lash line. And then now just taking the actual pencil, I'm gonna go ahead and line my waterline now. All right, now I'm gonna take my Not A Powder Wowder. And I, like I said from my last video, I can't disclose what brand this is because they wanna keep it a secret. But I'm gonna be taking this Not A Powder, AKA Wowder, and then using my Beauty Blender. Well, this is not a Beauty Blender. It's actually L'Oreal Blender, whatever you call it. I'm going to apply this um, and set my lower under eyes. This powder has been doing really great for me. I just like how the color matches my skin tone really well. And the powder is, the weight of the powder is just right so it actually sets your makeup without giving you um, like a white cast over it because sometimes I feel like powders do that when the quality is not very great. Now I'm just pressing the powder into my skin. This is my first time using the blush in this palette and I'm quite excited about it. No name. I'm just gonna go ahead with my <laughs> with my Lisa Frank makeup brush. I like to focus it onto the, the center of my cheeks and also apply some onto my nose bridge. Next we're gonna contour my nose and this is the Milani Contour Highlight Stick. I'm just gonna go ahead and draw Now I'm going to take this brush and just blend and then as well as my forehead. What this will do is actually like give the appearance of a smaller, more shapely face and then as well as I should have gotten a smaller brush for this. Oh my god, I love this so much. Oh, oh, love it, I love it. I'm really excited to try this lip color. This is also by NYX Cosmetics and it's their super clicky matte lipstick. The color is so freaking pretty. And I'm just really impressed with how opaque and matte without drying this lipstick is. It's so nice. So lately I've been liking leaving the bottom of my lips like plain, not really applying a product on there. So I'm just cleaning it up, but I love overlining my top lip. Oh my God, it's so damn pretty. Okay, I just can't get over how pretty this color is. I swatched it earlier, but this is my first time putting it on my lips. This color is more muted. Mmm, together it's so pretty. Oh my God, NYX Cosmetics, what you're doing to me. Oh, I love these. And this is in the color Conform. And the first color I uh, put on is in the color On the DL. I'm so excited about this highlighter stick. This is from NYX Cosmetics as well. It's called Strobe of Genius. I'm gonna apply this to the top of my cheeks like this. I'm not gonna drag. I'm just gonna kind of pat because I do have powder on my face and I don't wanna ruin it. And now I'm just going to use my fingers to blend. I think that this is a really great dupe for the Milk Makeup Sticks. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. Last but not least, I'm gonna be using mascara. This is Pixie by Petra. I haven't like really found one that works really great for my lashes because I have minimal lashes, basically none. They stick out straight like that. I haven't found anything that just works really wonderfully for me. Final step, we have setting spray. This is by Bolani and it's the 16 hour wear, make it last setting spray.
Ooh, smells pretty good. Okay, and that's pretty much it. This is the final look. All right, so this makeup look, as you guys can see, it's super easy to recreate. If you guys want to just check out any of the products I use, click the description box below. I'll link them. That way you guys can have access to these drugstore products. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.